Hello Aries and welcome back to my channel and this is your December 2020 reading. Um, very quickly before we start, another plug of the diaries. I've channeled this messages um, for this uh, spirit messages diary and there's a message at the start of every month. This is a 2021 diary and then a plain diary for you to write down all of your things throughout the month. Again, we have a gratitude one. This is a, um, obviously with everything that's happened this year, I thought it'd be nice to keep people in a positive frame of mind. So you can write down things at the start of the month that you're grateful for. And as you go through the month, you've got a plain diary again. You can go back and put you know things in there. At the end of the year, it's nice to look back and see all the positive things that's happened throughout the year. These are new. These are tarot diaries. There's two of these. Um, they're both exactly the same inside and um, this one I'm still waiting to go live on Amazon but the other one is already out. Um, we've got some pages here with some nice trigger words in, then you've got a year ahead diary and then we've got three spreads with areas for you to write your results in and then you've got a year diary by week view. So again you can continue writing in if you're doing spreads throughout the year. Um, so there's the two tarot diaries and like I said this one is out on Amazon now and I'm just waiting for this one to go live should be any day now okay so all of those are out on Amazon and I'll put the link below in the description and also um, what should be out now is your Aries year ahead for next year so I've done a 2021 year ahead um, reading and um, there's a card represented for each month I've done it as like a clock Okay Aries, so this again is your December 2020 reading. Now when I shuffle the cards and I'm starting to get ready I ask for a message ahead for Aries for the month of December and what I heard was secrets and as I heard secrets the Six of Cups fell out and first of all I wondered was it the Six of Cups I heard but didn't hear it right because obviously secrets just sound similar to the Six of Cups but Thought I'll go with what I my first instincts was. Um, I'll pick that one and that one. Now, secrets um, and six of cups. To me, the six of cups is to do with friends, um, family gatherings, things like that, and it's normally a happy card. So yes, we've got Christmas coming up, and there will be the opportunity to mix with friends and family just for a few days. So. Okay, Aries, and we had a bit of technical problem there. So I'm wondering when this happens, this getting together with friends and family, if there's going to be some sort of secret come out. Okay, so let's have a look what you've got. Your first cup you've got out is the Ten of Cups. So that's a really positive card to have, Aries. It shows that emotionally, um, in the month of December, you're going to be quite happy. You've got the happy card. Um, you've also got next to that Temperance. Um, which is a card about balance. Um, you know, normally temperance comes out when things have been a little bit uneasy, you've gone through a bit of a difficult time, and it's tempering everything back down again to that nice balance level and back to how we wanted it. So it seems that things have been a bit rocky for you lately, but in the month of December, things are going to settle down. You're going to feel emotionally happy, um, and that's a really good family card to have and things are going to start balancing down and tempering down and interestingly enough we've got the king of wands here now obviously wands do signify you aries so this card coming out there is about you and you're sitting there look got a big smile um got your wand in your hand you're quite happy um it's a lovely bright yellow card it's it's really signifying to me you in your fire energy you're going to be there um quite happy um the people you want i feel around you things balancing down it's going to be the way you want it okay you're going to be in your element you're going to be strong there in your energy you're going to be in control of things and saying you know i don't want this i don't want that this is how i want christmas or this is how i want december and to me i feel that you're going to be getting your way um you're going to be getting things um balance the way you want it you've got the ten of cups there and the ten of pentacles tens of completion tens of when you've got like i say you're where you're at you've got 
um, financially you've got um, the 10 there and emotionally you've got the 10 there so you're going to be in a really good place in December I feel Aries um, you're going to have what you want regarding emotionally and regarding um, sort of abundance and material you're going to be there quite happy in your energy okay and as we go on through the month um, we've got the Queen of Swords now um, and when the swords is up in the air this could be a person around you who's going to say something could get into your head could could cause a bit of an argument so just look out for um this woman this is this the secret is this the person who's going to say something which you're not going to be very happy about and um, but we do have the queen of swords there um and at swords, like I say, air, airs our thoughts, airs can be arguments. Um, so quite possibly, I feel it could come from this person. We've got the Three of Cups there, again about celebration. So there's definitely going to be getting together and gatherings around um, the month of December. And we know there will be, obviously, um, it's that time of the year. But you had the Six of Cups come out, you had Secrets, and now you've got the Three of Cups coming out there to show um, celebrations and getting together. We've also got the Two of Cups there. Um, again, getting together with someone. Um, are you getting closer with someone? Um, We've definitely got a lot of cups, lots of emotions coming in for you in the month of December, but it all seems to be positive. It seems to be a coming together. Again there, the Queen of Wands. Um, again, this fire energy, um, this creativity, You, it's completely your energy in the month of December. And um, this coming together is definitely to do with um, I mean, yes, you could say a female, but we've got the male and the female come out here. We've got the two of cups here. So I do definitely feel for those areas who are in relationships, it certainly looks like a, um, some sort of closeness, some sort of more coming together for you in December. Um, there's definitely going to be this celebration, this coming together, this party family atmosphere coming on for you, okay? Now, We've got the Eight of Swords here just at the end there, which is a bit of a strange card to have when you've had such a good reading. Um, the Eight of Swords there, again, that can be things going on in your mind. That can be um, you feeling you want to be impartial. Or you, you've got the blindfold on. So um, could it be to do with this person that could say something? You're kind of either having to. It's not like Aries to keep quiet. Aries normally like to say something, but it's almost like you um, you don't want the argument. Um, the swords are out, obviously, and you're trying to find your way through them. Um, it almost feels like, can you get out of this situation? Um, but yes, you can, but you are going to try and do it sort of di diplomatically. Um, so there could be a situation around you. It looks, most of the month looks quite positive, but we have this, um, the Six of Cups that came out, this celebration, and we have this um, secret that something could come out, um, something being said, something you're not happy about. Um, but I do feel that it seems all good there. Okay, Aries. Right, so let's have an angel and saint card obviously this may not resonate with all Aries um, or it could be you know um, little bits that resonate with you but not all of it miracle okay well that's a really good card to have we've got the Jesus miracle card um, you know for December so how lovely is that um, so it's almost like everything you want everything that you're asking for you're getting and we said earlier that you've got these two tens there um, so wow there you go everything you want is out um, perhaps this secret could it be a surprise for somebody for Christmas and somebody lets something out you know it doesn't have to be a negative secret it could be um, you know a planned celebration because there seems to be a lot to do with celebration and you're trying to keep it quiet and somebody lets it slip um 
so yeah because we've got these cards to do you know secrets and celebrations could somebody let the secret out of a present or of a celebration so just be careful if you're planning something who you tell um, because all the other cards seem quite positive okay Aries just be careful when you're buying presents for someone they may find out what it is rest and there you go Aries so for you you need a bit of rest in December so take it easy don't wear yourself out with all this celebrating going on just remember to rest and enjoy yourself okay now these are the love and relationship cards so we'll just shuffle some of these for December and see what your love and relationships hold it's already uh, a bit of sort of uh, emotions and family friends and possibly relationships come out in this card in this reading sorry pay attention to red flags the signs are cautioning you so there, there's just something to be careful of, but you'll get a little bit of a warning. Okay. And let's pull another one. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So there you go, Aries. Um, go ahead and make the romantic gesture, but also just watch out for signs. Um, along the way there are some signs there for you to pay attention to okay well i hope you enjoyed your reading and i hope you have a lovely christmas aries and don't forget the link to the diaries will be in the description below and the link to your um 2021 year ahead reading will also be in the link below so thank you for watching and i'll see you again soon